Well, the film is a road trip human story of a couple that is a boy and a girl. Both happen to be homosexuals uh, from Delhi to McLeod Gunge. And how during the trip and a little before and a little after, their friendship develops and evolves into uh, a relationship where they end up discovering the true meaning of love in their friendship. I'm playing uh, Mansi in the film. Uh, Mansi is a lesbian. She um, is a very free-spirited girl, a uh, rebel, and uh, she is a very courageous girl. Um, and I'm very happy that I got a chance to play this character, to bring this character alive on screen because uh, the subject of this film uh, is very close to my heart. Um, it, he said the fun part of the film, uh, for me this film is about the emotions and the turmoil and the struggle um, the people from the LGBTQ community face, especially in the society, especially in their own families and especially in a country like India that I belong to. this uh, subdued, uh, introverted sort of a guy who's, who's had it extremely hard since he was a child because he's never been able to open up and talk to anyone, uh, not at home, uh, not outside. The fact that he's homosexual has made that worse because that's further alienated him and how that's affected his psyche and uh, made him uh, a complete loner. And uh, he's free-spirited deep down, unlike Mansi, who's free-spirited on the outside. Uh, but Veer is, uh, Veer discovers that free spirit of his when he connects with this girl and becomes friends with her because he realizes that she lives life the way it's supposed to and uh, it kind of helps him open up and uh, yeah, after a really hard breakup, come out of it and then go on this trip with her which helps him discover himself, uh, himself and uh, who he really is and she gives him the strength to actually for him to face his demons and uh, come out, literally. Uh, not just in the coming out phrase, but come out as a human being. Becoming an actor, first of all, was never on the cards for me. I never ever dreamt of becoming an actor. I've. Uh, I, I'll, I'll say it's all uh, destiny that I'm a part of this industry and uh, but I'm a person that wherever I am in whatever field I am I always like to give my hundred percent and try to be the best in whatever I'm doing and uh, so as I became a part of this industry then there was no looking back thanks to Anshuman this film has given me that opportunity uh, to show people that you know I am an actor along with just being a pretty face See, I've always been a risk taker. I've always wanted to do, uh, you know, uh, characters or roles that actually pushed me more than my limit. And this was one of that. And I'm happy that I got the opportunity to do this. And I'm really hoping that after this, I do get more challenging roles. Yes, I never thought I'll, be, I'll, I'll play a res lesbian, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, it's been hard, especially from where like, I was born in Allahabad, uh, in Delhi. Even now, my mother sometimes says that she's very happy I'm directing, actually, because she thinks that's a real job. She thought that acting is just a hobby, which people do. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's been, for me, I've been very blessed, sir, to be honest, because I've had very good teachers who've taught me my limitations and uh, also taught me standards. So that's why I'm mistaken often, because... Uh, I've been training since I was 12 and with some really hard teachers like Dubeji and Ramna Tharwal and Sanjana. And they've taught me to be very serious about what I do and that's, that's all I do. I just practice what I've been taught. Uh, films like Zareen, I was told by a leading director that I'll never make it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just beautiful that uh, your conviction in telling good stories, because I think all this is bullshit. Uh, 
being a skinny actor or being a pretty actor or being an actor is an actor. And the Bakar Banerjee said this to me on my first day of shoot. He said, Anshman, the first thing to learn about acting is to stop acting. Cinema is cinema. Uh, it's just that where does your honesty lie? So scale is just a is just a baggage. Like Zareen says, there's a lot of conditioning and perception in our country, right? This is all hawa which has been made in our country. Tomorrow, if I have a hundred crores to make a film, my driving force will still be to sit on a script for one year or as long as it takes till it reaches a place of clarity for the filmmaker and for me. Uh, so yeah. I, well, I'm honestly trying to bridge it in my own small way that I can. This film was at uh, the South Asian film market last year in Singapore. It was one of the top 10 Asian scripts and Mark Bashit was an Oscar winning producer of No Man's Land. He was there and he said something to me on stage actually. He said he's been on the jury of Khan, Toronto, Locarno. And he said, you know, I've seen films about two gay men. I've seen films about two lesbian women. I have never seen a film about a gay man and a lesbian woman as protagonists on a road trip. So to begin with, the endeavor is to remove the us versus they. We are all the same. Yeah. There is no us. There is there's not they. This, 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 again, societal conditioning of differentiating. The human beings, they have a choice. And the message we are saying is everyone is free to make a choice. Mm -hmm.